What's going on? Welcome to Audio Architects, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be discussing sealed versus ported subwoofers. This is something that's been debated for a very long time. I'm basically just gonna give you my opinion and things I have found over the years that prove whether one or the other is better. So definitely watch this video with an open mind. Let's roll. What's up guys, welcome back to Audio Architects. My name is Mike, and if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you get notified every time I put out new content. So the answer to the question, whether sealed versus ported, which is better, the answer is yes. They're both really good at doing music and movies, but it all depends. I know that's pretty vague, but I have some pros and cons I wanna share with you about both that may sway your decision one way or another, or if you're already decided whether you like one or the other, maybe this might change your mind, I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna give you my opinion and the facts that I have gathered. Here we go. So sealed subwoofers are inclined to be more musical because they have a tendency to be smoother in room as compared to ported boxes. For most music, an extension to 30 hertz is more than enough. There are very few musical tracks. Some selected organ tracks, perhaps some bass specific music, can get down much lower than 30 hertz. Since a sealed box will get you there and better match the room gain, you get a smoother, flatter, cleaner bottom end without extra extra EQ. The smaller box size does make it ideal for smaller spaces, so if you're working with a small apartment or a small room, a sealed subwoofer might be the best bet. Now, for ported, it is not necessarily getting deeper as much as it is getting louder. Dynamics for home theater tend to be higher than for music, so the extra gain can be a good thing if you need it. Additionally, what does an explosion really sound like? How many people have actually heard gunshots? Basically, you are reproducing something that is a bit fictitious in the first place, so more output can be a good thing. However, However, the ported boxes do come in a larger size, alienating small spaces. It is, however, more efficient, so it doesn't require as much power to push louder decibels at frequencies adjacent to the port tuning. But it does require a high-pass filter at the port tuning frequency to protect the speaker from over-excursion. If you have an EQ, you can make them both perform with equal smoothness, or if you have multiple subs and space them out accordingly. All right, guys, time for the final thought. You have all the information I have now, and what I'm gonna be choosing is I am gonna go with a sealed enclosure for music because it does have more of a musical value to it as far as listening to music and enjoying music. I do enjoy the punchiness and the, the tightness of a nice sealed subwoofer, especially since I am putting it in a small room. So as far as home theater goes, I will go with a ported subwoofer. However, I am going with a subwoofer with passive radiators, which is essentially the same thing as a ported subwoofer. So there you have it. That's my opinion. That's my final thought. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, ring the bell so you're notified anytime I put out new content. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.